Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe and I sell things on eBay to earn a living. Today's video is going to be a non-clothing haul. Pretty much shoes though, I will be honest. If you are not here for the shoes, then you're probably not going to enjoy this video very much. I will split it up though, so I will show whatever I've got that isn't shoes first. And then I will move on to shoes so that you can watch like the little bit that isn't shoes first and then... You can leave the video if you don't want to watch shoes. Um, I'm going to jump straight into it. This is the stuff that we bought. If you've watched my two part of my two part of clothing haul um, from the trip that we took to York, if you haven't, I will leave part one up here. Um, oh, actually, I think it's this way. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, up there somewhere is going to be part one. So yeah, this is, this is all the stuff that wasn't clothing that we got from York or around York. So yeah, I'm going to jump straight into the non-shoes and then I'll move on to shoes. So first up is these Kath Kidston mugs. We got four of these. They weren't $2.99 each. They were actually $2.99 for the set of four. They are the large ones. There you go. Um, the other three are wrapped up, so I'm not going to bother showing you all, all of them because they're all exactly the same. They're all the heart print. I don't actually know how much I'm going to get for these, but they were like less than a pound a mug. So I'm going to sell them as a set of four. I didn't know whether to sell them as two sets of two, but I think I'll go for four just because it means I've only got to pack them once. <laughs> just makes life a little bit easier. But I will look at comps. I will put comps on screen here because I haven't actually researched any of these yet because that's typical me. I jump into a video before I do any research. So... I'll let you know how much I paid for it all because I've left all the price tags on them. But if I'm not sure how much I am going to get for them, I will put comps up on screen. So yeah, I got four of these. Kath Kidston mugs for £2.99. Um, and then these, which are absolutely a flipping adorable. Again, I have no idea how much I'll get for them. Is these little Mickey and Minnie champagne flutes. Look how sweet they are. That's a mini one. And the Mickey one. I absolutely love them. They are Disneyland Resorts Paris. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up. It's probably not going to show up on camera, to be fair. But they are Disneyland Resort ones. And they were £1.50 for the pair. So I was definitely going to pick them up. I've got no idea how much these will go for. I did research it in the shop, but it was like two weeks ago that we went now. So I can't remember. <laughs> but I will put some comps on screen again. But I picked them up because I just thought they were real sweet. But like how cute would those be for like a wedding gift for somebody that's like a Disney fan? I thought they were so cute. I like them. Next up, which is almost kind of clothing, um, is this H&M. I mean, I should have got this listed already, really, because Coachella's been and gone, hasn't it? Um, this H&M Coachella. Has Coachella been and gone? It has, hasn't it? It has. This H&M Coachella cap, hat. Um, it's brand new with tags, which is why I picked it up. Um, I know this this used to do quite well. I've looked at comps. Um, I'll put them on the screen again because I can't remember. But there were some good comps on this. Not this exact hat, unfortunately. I couldn't find any anyway. But on some of them, like different styles, there were some good comps, especially new. Um, if it wasn't new, I wouldn't have picked it up because it was three, yeah, three ninety nine from Heart Foundation. But because it was new, I thought I'd give it a go. I know this brand used to do quite well. Some H&M collabs do do quite well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. But yeah, I don't know. I've, I don't, I've sold the odd hat before, but I'm, I don't really know much about selling hats. That I'm not going to pretend that I do. But <laughs> I just thought with it being summer, Coachella's popular. So I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, this is adorable. I love this so much. I could not leave this behind. Look how sweet this is. I'll move my head out of the way. I hope you can see that. I can't see the screen because it's in front of me. Look at the, it's got kitties on it. It is a vintage St. Michael cat clock. I absolutely love it. It was five pounds and obviously it's new in its box. How it's still new in its box. How did somebody not want that? I feel like somebody was probably gifted it at Christmas and they were like, oh, thanks. I would have been like, oh, thanks. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's proper, like, it is, like, proper kitsch, isn't it? Like, I am in love with it. I sold a kind of similar one. Mm, 
maybe last year. I can't remember how much I got for it now, but that was like a kitchen with little cats on it. And it was really sweet. Um, I can't remember how much I got for it, but it went okay. Went for a decent amount. Um, but I'm not sure how much I'll get for it. Again, I'll put it on screen. And the last item, oh, actually not quite. Last but one item is this. Now this is new in box, but I have, um, I have unboxed it so that I can show you. Um, this I don't actually know much about, so I might be giving it as a gift to somebody if it's not worth anything. It's just because it was relatively cheap and it was brand new. And I thought it'd be a good gift if it wasn't worth anything. This is by the brand Party Light, which I don't know whether it's worth buying anymore. Um, which I think is kind of like a... It might be like an MLM, MLM kind of brand. Um, there you go. Party Light on there. Um, they had a few stuff boxed up like this, like new stuff, but um, some of them were like wax melts and stuff and I didn't know how old they were and how, whether they'd hold their scent. I still don't have my sense of smell back from when I had COVID, like last year, in June last year. I still don't have a sense of smell back, so I can smell them to see whether they smell anything like they were supposed to. But this is, I mean, it was in a bag as well as there's, there's all the packaging still in there. Um, it's like the Yankee Candle shades, but obviously it's, it's a party light one. It's got little hearts around the bottom of it. I just thought it was proper cute. How much did I spend on this? Uh, £3. So even if I can't get anything for it, I can gift it to somebody at Christmas. Because um, it's, it's new in its box. It's got all its packaging. And it, it looks like it's... I mean, it looks like it'll fit on a Yankee shade absolutely fine, to be honest. It looks like it'll fit on any large candle fine. And it's quite sweet. But I will put any comps I find on the screen. But, yeah, I didn't check. I will be honest. I say that in a lot of my videos. I didn't check. And you really should check comps. Because this could be a dud. But the only reason I didn't bother checking is because I knew that I could use it as a gift. And the last two items are actually quite big. <laughs> First up being this, a big pink trunky. Um, we bought them because they were in pretty good nick and they were only, as you can see, a £3.50. Um, this is a big pink one. Um, has it got its key? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's got its key, but it's in really good condition. She says, doesn't look like it's got its key. But I'm not really too bothered about that, to be honest with you. Um, if you don't know what a trunky is, it is basically just a big case. And you can see on the bottom, it has little wheels. So kids can sit on top of it and wheel it along. Like they, It's like a little Ryan, um, as well as a case. And then it's got carry, case, it, carry handles. And then you can also pull it along with this. Oh, it has got its key. There you go. It's got this little key. Um, so yeah, they're, uh, the wheel, the wheels, sorry, don't look like they've ever been used outside. So it's in really nice condition. These go for probably around about £20. So nothing amazing, but they'll be really easy to photograph and chuck in a box with a little bit of void fill. And it's trunky, it's trunky season. <laughs> People are all going, getting ready to go on holiday. They're looking for stuff like this. So I'm hoping they'll move pretty quickly and I'll probably stick them on Facebook Marketplace as well. I say them because we found another one. This one has seen better days, but I couldn't leave it behind because I felt like, now this is ridiculous, I felt bad for it. <laughs> because it's got a unicorn horn and I feel like it's got a personality. <laughs> but yeah, this one is a, uh, as you can see, very nicely, lovingly decorated by somebody. I will just sell it with all its bits and bobs on because, quite frankly, I can't be asked to take it all off. Um, again, it's got its wheels haven't been. It's not been used outside. Like it's not been taken anywhere. I reckon someone's been bought these as a Christmas gift, maybe, and never used them. And the reason I say that is because my daughter got bought one of these a few years ago as a Christmas gift. And it's still sat in a wardrobe. I don't know whether she's ever used it. She may have taken it around her nanny's house once. Just for the novelty of it. But we've never actually used it properly. So yeah again around about £20. If it's got it's key. I'm not sure whether this one has. But 
again it was three pound fifty and apart from the state it doesn't look like this one's got its key um apart from all the stickers it's it's in really good condition but yeah around about 18 to 20 and i will stick them both on facebook marketplace to see if uh, they get any interest on that so yeah that's it for the non shoes just push that out of the way uh, now we have like loads of shoes, I say loads of shoes, probably about 10 pairs of shoes. So I will whiz through those quickly so this video is nice and short and sweet because my videos have been really long lately. So if you are not here for shoes, probably now is probably your time to leave. Thanks for coming. It's been nice to see you. Oh, I have a dog joining me as usual. There's always a dog in these videos. Excuse me, do you mind? Thank you. Um, right, let's go straight onto the shoes. Uh, first up is this pair of Fit Flop slide on what, sandals these glittery sequiny silver ones i'm not sure what size these are in i did pay up for these fit flops um and that is purely because i think the day that i bought them or a day or two before i'd had a pair of fit flops sell for like 30 quid so you know when that happens you're like oh well yeah i'm gonna buy all the fit flops now um i paid eight pounds 75 for them and I didn't even check comps. I didn't even check comps. And I paid £8.75 for used fit flops. But I know these are popular. These uh, This style. I will put comps up on screen now. Um, because I have to have another pair. Like I said, I don't know what size they are. I'll have to check. They look like five or six. Um, they are a six. And this is the other pair. I prefer this pair. This pair has a little buckle. There you go. There's the bottom of them if you're looking out for fit flops. £8.75 again. Yep. Quite expensive. But do you mind? My apologies. Apparently the dog's got something to say. There you go. Excuse me. No. No. These are like a bronzy colour. Like I say, size six, and I will put the comps up on screen. Sticking with sandals, I found this pair of Birkenstocks. I don't know whether I've ever found Birkenstocks before. Actually, no, I think I've sold one pair before, and I've sold, I've sold, I have sold kid ones actually. Um, these were seven pounds, which oh, sorry, I've got it. This is so professional. I always keep it really professional over here, if you know. Welcome to this really professional YouTube channel. Just keeping it real. I just keeping it real. Um, this lovely pair of purple patents. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, they're leather. Patent leather Birkenstock. So seven pound. May have already said that. Don't know how much I'm going to get for them. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> uh, what size are they? They are a size. I don't know because I'm partially sighted. Well, technically, I'm not partially sighted anymore. Completely interrupt this video with an important announcement. I went to an eye specialist. You are looking at a legally blind woman. You are looking at, pardon the pun, you are looking at a legally blind woman. I am now classed as legally blind. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I had no idea that I was walking around, living my life completely, not completely blind, obviously. I can see, I can see right in front of me, but I have no peripherals. But yeah, went to an eye specialist in Birmingham and uh, I am officially legally blind. I am going to do a video on that, but anyway, we digress. These were £7 and I've probably put on the screen by now how much they were. I'm getting distracted. This video is going to be really long and I was going to try and make this video really quick. Move on, move on, Chloe. Okay, so these are a pair of Sebagos, are they? Yeah, a pair of men's Sebago shoes. They're like the classic Sebago boat boat shoe, deck shoe. What do you call it? I'm not too sure. They're like in a tan brown leather. And I think they're a size 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8. It looks like an 8, can't be 100% sure. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for them. £7. And I think these were going for around about 30 to 40. Put some on the screen. Also got another pair in blue from a different shop, actually. And I think these were uh, 
these ones were a size seven so a little bit a little bit smaller but these ones are nice and blue actually i quite like these they're very summery they need a bit of a clean up because to me that looks a bit yellowy and maybe they're meant to be that color but i doubt it and i think i paid seven pound on these as well you know to be to be fair did we pay oh no pay five pounds for these ones even better five pounds and again these are a little bit smaller being a seven maybe 30 pounds but if i'm wrong i'll have put it on the screen by now and next up these were five pounds and these are clark's they are a wee size i think they're a three um a three a three i think they are a three um they are clark's unstructured which is why i picked them up let me see if i can show you the inside of them so you can see what clark's unstructured it looks like can we see no there we go sorry it's backwards actually it's not going to be backwards because i've figured out how to flip the screen because i'm a tech whiz now yeah no it was just one button and i just not noticed it before uh yep they're a size a three so they're probably not going to shift very quickly and it's not really the right time of year but they're a fiver and a clark's unstructured are a pretty good range in clark's they sell pretty well and i reckon i'll get at least 25 maybe for them but i'll probably have to hold out because it's not the right time of year oh these are well cool if these were black i probably would have kept them i mean actually would i would i oh no oh no oh i've just found a bit of damage on them that i did not see and now i wouldn't have picked i wouldn't have picked them up i wouldn't have picked them up look at the back of that heel this is like a foam am i there we go this is a foam wedge oh there's a dog this is a foam wedge and look at the back of that heel oh these are jeffrey campbell and to be fair they're pretty sick but they're blue if they were black i may have kept them but blue i'm not really going to wear them with anything they are a size four well technically they're a size 36 or a size three however i've tried them on and i'm a size four and they fit me perfectly so they're a big three so i'm going to list them as a 36 but slash 37 um they are gorgeous they cost me three pounds but i am gutted about that look at that how did i miss that i mean come on I know I'm blind, but how did I miss that? That is a proper, that's a corker, that is. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll list them anyway. Um, okay, we have four more pairs of shoes left. These are, I will put some on screen because I'll be damned if I can remember anything about these. But I know that I researched them and the brand is a pretty good. There you go. I'm going to now try and pronounce the brand. It is Jamie Mascaro, I think. Uh, I believe it to be, is it an Italian brand? I think it's an Italian brand. It might be, yeah, made in Italy. They just felt quality. They were in the men's section. However, they are very narrow. And looking online, when we Googled it, they did actually, the website did actually come up with a lot more women's it was all women's clothing rather than men's so obviously with it being like a loafer it was just put in the men's section it's quite a big size so it was put in the men's section um yeah i don't actually know what size it is to be honest with you it says 42 which what's that is that a nine so obviously there can be a women's in size nine um but they're very narrow uh yeah I will put comps up on the screen. They were all over the place, but they were six pounds. They just felt like a really good quality shoe. So I don't know, we may have made a boo-boo or it may be a banger. A banger or a boo-boo, who knows? We will find out. Next up is a pair of Converse, but they're just a pretty nice Converse. Like, look at that, look at that toe. I hope that shows up on camera. It is iridescent and a cute. And on the back is too. I really liked them. They're just a plain black converse, but with a little bit extra, you know? When you don't want to go over the top, but just a little bit extra. I thought they were nice anyway. Um, 
I have not researched these, but they were a fiver and I was finding absolutely nothing else in the shop. So I picked them up because I liked them. And I know you shouldn't really do that, but hmm, I did. What size are they? I can't remember. Someone's tied the laces so tight. I can't find the size. They are. I sound like I'm giving birth. There are five and a half. Oh, damn it. If there are a five, I would have maybe tried to have fit them, but a five and a half, they're going to be way too big. But they are really pretty. So I'm hoping I can get, like, as long as they photograph good, I'm hoping I can get 20 for them because they're in really good condition. And they're five pounds. Okay, we've got two more to go. These were six pounds 50, and these are a pair of kickers suede boots. They're not very kickersy, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, they're like a suede wedge boot. And these weren't actually in a charity shop. These were just in like a second-hand trade shop. Um, oh, you can fold the inside down as well. So you can wear them like this. If you wanted to. If you were that way inclined to wear them like this. Um, I don't know what size they are. I have looked all over this boot. Can I find a size? No, I cannot. Anywhere. I have tried them on my trotters. And they maybe a little bit too big so i'm gonna measure them but i think they're about five um because i'm a four i've already said that but i am a four in case you didn't know i'm a four um <laughs> so yeah i think they're a five and they're in pretty good nick probably the wrong time of year because they are a floofy but i can wait i'm in no rush to sell them i'm cool i'll wait probably about um, I don't know, 20, 25, something like that. Right, last pair, last item, last pair of shoes. A little bit out of my comfort zone, got an itchy nose, bought some Paul Smiths. Bought some Paul Smith shoes. Spent £15 on them. I know, I know. But I just really liked them. I really liked them. And they got the little... There you go, the little Paul Smith stripy ribbon there. They are a size nine. I'm going to show you one at a time because I can't hold them both. Um, are you gonna? Are you gonna? It does say Paul Smith in there somewhere. It's just not showing up. There you go. You can just about see the P.S. Paul Smith. Um, they're just in a really nice brown with like this fading around it that makes it look like it's meant to be worn. And they're just, they are gorgeous quality. Like, they are so nice. You see all the bits of fading in, like, the bits that would be faded if they were, like, worn in. And they just feel really nice quality. They do have a little bit of damage on one shoe. There. We've got a tiny little nick in one shoe. Which maybe I shouldn't have picked them up for £15. But looking at comps, put them up here. Um, They should be good. They're a little creased, but not too bad. But yeah, we should be all good, all good in the hood for these Paul Smiths. And yeah, that's it. That is everything that I bought that was not clothing from York. Almost dried. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit all over the place. But yeah, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, do not forget to hit subscribe. I would love to have you here on the regular. And yeah, leave some comments below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.